Yeah, Miggy's uh, Miggy's doing better. Um, uh, not hitting or anything yet, um, but I, I know there were some improvements from a symptom standpoint yesterday, but still in treatment mode there. He was out taking ground balls yesterday. Um, so feel like the needle's moving a little bit, um, but but nothing imminent as far as getting back out and playing. Um, Higgy, Higgy had a good day yesterday. Did not do baseball activities, but did some gym stuff, did treatment, was asymptomatic. Um, so optimistic that I think he's... I think he's scheduled to go next Saturday um, in Sarasota, so that would be the hope. But we'll see where we are these next few days if we're able to ramp up into, you know, hopefully baseball activities a little bit today, and then uh, and then Friday ahead of that. Just to clarify, Aaron, this Saturday or next? Yeah, this Saturday. This Saturday. Yeah. Sweeney Murdy, you have the next question. Good morning, Aaron. Um, with Jordan Montgomery, he had mentioned how he keeps in touch with Sabathia and Pettit, and Pettit specifically had told him that he should throw his fastball more because it's better than, the one, than Pettit's. Mm -hmm. um, is, is throwing his four-seam fastball more, can that benefit him, or does his ability to get soft contact rely on not throwing it as much or throwing as much as he has in the past? Well, I mean, it's it's pitching, you know. It's you know, there's art to it. Um, I I think I think the point with Monty is, <clears throat> I think going back to even last year, but now into this year, I just think it's a better, more powerful fastball. You know, he's he's able to pitch. You know, it's a tick up now. It's you know, from a velo standpoint, so he's able to four seam up. He mixes in the cut fastball a little bit his two seamer still very much in play. So all those things, you know, the better his fastball is and the better he's commanding that, you know, it's going to set up his secondary stuff better, you know, his curveball and his changeup. So they all kind of help each other. Each pitch helps the other. And hopefully, um, you know, as a whole, it, it continues to lead to uh, a lot of soft contact that he's good at generating. Does the, is the uptick in velocity, is that just – stronger back from the surgery is it mechanical yeah i think i think it's a probably a combination I, I i think him you know being at an age where he's been now these last couple of years coming back from rehabbing an injury just being in better condition better physical shape uh you know bigger stronger whatever uh, mechanically probably more efficient all these things lead to you know uh, a, a better overall athlete and a higher performing athlete. Thank you. Yep. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. You have the next question. Hi, Aaron. Um, I was just going to know the lines of his stats for the spring, very strong. Uh, have you been doing anything differently this spring, or is this just a, uh, I'm not, we're talking about a small sample here, but yeah. anything stand out to you? No, you know, I mean, yesterday he walked a couple guys. So, I, you know, I, I with Lowe, I just want to make sure because his stuff's so good that he's always on the attack, you know. Um, and, and I think one thing that's been really good for him is, and, and it's always been a reliable pitch for him, but his changeup, you know, he's been using it a lot. You saw it yesterday. Um, you know, he uses it to both right and left handers. It's it's the secondary pitch I think that he has the most confidence in and and really can lean on. And that's been a really good pitch for him this spring to go along with his fastball. Um, but no, as I, I feel like as long as Lowe is on the attack, um, you know, he he can he's a dynamic pitcher. I mean, he's got great stuff and and he has the ability to fill up the strike zone and. And that's what we want to continue to encourage. Whether it's him or, or Nelson or some of the other young guys, you feel like you just kind of need graduations in your, you would like graduations in your bullpen to that higher level, you know, not only with Britain now, but with volatility of, of relievers in general. No question. No question. You know, we've, you know, I, I think it was my first spring when Lowe kind of flashed and kind of, jumped on our radar a little bit out of nowhere you know he he wasn't expected and you know got his feet wet a little bit and and he's been a guy that um 
you know, has had varying degrees of success these last few years, but we feel really good about. And, and I think, you know, I think with Lowe, there's the added importance this year coming off of a, the shortened season with starters that we want to make sure we're protecting, you know, the length that he can give you in the pen, uh, you know, to, to sync up with guys on a certain day where, you know, we don't have a full pitch count or whatever, um, you know, that role becomes really important. Mm-hmm. Pete Caldera, please unmute. Aaron, with uh, the off day tomorrow, do you manufacture something for Kluber to keep him on his day uh, tomorrow? Yeah, Kluber will throw here tomorrow. Um, so we'll have, you know, three or four live hitters for him. And, um, yeah, he'll go, he'll go on his day tomorrow. Uh, go next to Dan Martin. Dan. Aaron, we've, uh, we've talked to you a lot about Jay Bruce. Uh, on the other hand, there's uh, Dietrich, who is, who's gotten off to, who, you know, hasn't hit as well uh, this spring. With a guy like him who has a, um, you know, has been around a while, how, how much do you look at the results of what he's done this spring in terms of, you know, if you want to keep him or, or more his track record and, and what you think he's capable of? More the latter. Like, like, you know, even, you know, I even talked to Jay and, you know, 40 and these guys, you know, all sort of competing, you know, it, it, it's really less about, oh, he went out and he was three for three today. And this, I mean, are, are, are we seeing, you know, what are these guys historically, what kind of hitters are they, what kind of condition and health are they in, you know, what are they looking like? You know, whether there's a result or not. And I think in Deet's case, you know, he very much looks like the hitter he's been, you know, throughout most of his his career. So I feel like physically he's been in a really good spot. We've gotten him in a lot of positions. Like in Jay Bruce's case, you know, I wanted to see him at first base just to get those reps and get that ex- continued experience. Um so it's more about making evaluations about where these guys are physically and then, you know, taking all the things into account, you know, coupled with, with what you're seeing to, to, to a degree, no question. But but I would say more about physically where they are and track record. And uh, just on another topic, you've got a pretty good lineup going against the Blue Jays today, and they, they, you know, they threw a pretty good lineup at you the other day. What kind of a threat do you see them as uh, this season in the division? I mean, they got a really good looking team. No, no question about it. We've we've seen uh, you know some of their younger players come of age here these last couple of years. Obviously, bringing in guys like Springer and Simeon, two really good players. Um, so we know they're going to be they're going to be tough, and um, you know look forward to to battling it out with them and and the other teams in the East. But but they definitely look formidable. Mm-hmm. Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, go ahead. Aaron, back on the wise for a second. Is he someone that you can go to back to back, considering his injury history and also considering <laughs> that might try to get more points out? You know, I would think at some point we will. You know, I've been a little yeah. reluctant to do that in the past just because. You know, first and foremost, obviously we we value his multi inning capability. So. Um, you know, and, and I do see that role for him, especially, you know, early and, and maybe in the first half of the season. Um, but I could definitely see getting to a point where, you know, he is finding himself in some more high, high leverage, shorter stints. And if that's the case, then I'm sure there'll be a point where, you know, I'd consider a back to back, but, you know, a lot of his higher leverage situations comes where he's given us a couple innings. So, you know, I, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't rule it out, but but his multi inning is is one of his big assets. 